Guitar Walt here from MarginalGuitar.com. Well, we all know there comes a time in the life of every beginning guitar player, and even some veterans experience this, when you know, you're blithely strumming along or flat picking your heart out on an up tempo bluegrass tune when all of a sudden, where the heck did that pick run off to? It's gone. And for the life of you, you just can't find it anywhere, no matter how hard you make your family look for it. Well, chances are it's in the last place your musically inexperienced family members would think to look. Yep, you guessed it. It dropped through the sound hole, and even now it's rattling around in the lower bout somewhere of the guitar body, and it's doing its best to try and mess up the delicate electronics package. Well, what do you do now? You could just keep playing with the thing still in there, uh, that would give you a uh, cleverly understated but unpredictable little rhythm section. Or you could do what the pros do. Ask your roadie to fetch your backup guitar. But you're not a pro, so there has to be a better solution, and we have it for you. You'll be performing what we teaching professionals call the plectromotomy. First thing we have to do, naturally enough, is to diagnose the problem. In other words, is the darn thing really in there? We call this procedure the bodyoscopy. But don't worry too much about these technical terms. The important thing is to have fun. So, I have a guitar here that I suspect has a uh, pick inside that's fallen into the sound hole. I'm using a little Martin LX1 for this demonstration because I'm you know, working in kind of tight quarters here. But I, uh, I guarantee you that this technique will work equally well with any size acoustic guitar that has a sound hole and uh, most of your good acoustic guitars do have a sound hole. Uh, if your guitar doesn't have a sound hole, it's unlikely a pick's going to get inside, so you don't have anything to worry about. But if you do hear something rattling around in there, you're probably screwed. Uh, now, uh, that's unless you want to join the percussion section of the band, of course, and come to think of it, if that's the case, you can just skip this lesson. Anyway, watch now as I take the guitar holding it flat like this and, and oscillate it a little or to shake it to use the layman's term. You hear that? Definitely something, something in there. We'll assume we've discovered the missing pick and even if it's not the pick you've got some kind of foreign object in there and it, we have to get it out. So uh, I want you to continue, continue oscillating the guitar until you can actually see the pick resting on the bottom you know, somewhere near near the sound hole. You may have to do this a few times. Careful you don't bump anything. And the thing is, you've got to do it in such a way that the pick will jump over the bracing and get to where you can see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it, and it definitely is a, a pick. So uh, we've we've established that it is indeed a pick in the guitar. So now for the extraction. Now, unless you have really small hands. You can't just you know reach in there between a couple of strings and grab the pick with your fingers. John Smith from St. Louis writes, uh, why not just loosen the strings so as to provide more room? Well, John, that, that could work, of course, uh, but it's clearly time consuming and it requires the painstaking retuning of the guitar and is you know overall kind of a, a pain in the neck. Also, there's other methods. You could poke around in there with um, uh, with forceps, for example, uh, something like 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 these um, tweezers. And these are too small, but you could use you know some really really big big tweezers like this uh, forceps, not forceps, um, tongs of some sort. Uh, let's see, uh, chopsticks, chopsticks, and probably not. Um, don't know how this got into my pile, but uh, let's see. You got uh, another option here, maybe. But really, the problem with all of those things is you you, you run the danger, the risk of poking a hole in the guitar. So uh, they're, they're probably not the best way to go. MarginalGuitar.com has come up with probably the best, the best of all possible uh, solutions here. Now here it is carefully holding the guitar flat like this with the pick still in view on the bottom I want you to simply turn the guitar over and shake it. 
<laughs> Till the stupid thing falls out. There it is. Okay, I think we got it. <sighs> yeah, there it is. See? Yeah, see it? That's it. Now, that was pretty simple, wasn't it? And the thing is, now you know how to do it. Isn't that great? Now, like everything else about learning the guitar, it will take some practice. And you'll have to start very slowly, uh, repeat the thing very slowly. And if you do, the muscle memory will eventually come into play, and uh, you'll be able to extricate that pick in no time at all, every time it falls into the sound hole. And by the way, this technique works for lost bridge pins, too. So, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson, and that it's uh, you know been helpful to you. And I'd like you to join me again for more free lessons from MarginalGuitar.com. Mm -hmm.